All right, so that's me. I'm Chris Kent. Let's do it. So, classic Warrior Horses site. All right, Warrior Horses have got all sorts of cool things going on. But one of the things they haven't quite figured out lately, they've got document library. How do they uh, not have to click on all the things to see the inside of the things? You know, uh, thumbnails, right? there. So, yeah. so, we've got these documents here. Maybe we want to see a little preview of those. But luckily, they provide something just for that. So we're going to add a column here. Go to our trick. Oh, no, what is this? That's the wrong one. The column, we're going to go to more. Give that a second here. My Swiss connection. There it is. And for this one, I'm going to call this preview. I'm going to call this a calculated column because, again, we don't want this to show up in our uh, do and edit forms. We just want this to be a format only column. We say equals quotation mark, quotation mark there. Okay. So now we've got this lovely column here called preview. Let's move it over here so we can see it. There we go. Whoa, what am I doing? All right, we'll go ahead and save that so I don't forget. There we go. So format this column, column settings, format this column. I can do things like I'll type, I'll make this an image, all right? Comma, say our attributes. Let me uh, close that out before I forget that. Ah, there we go. I'm going to say source. So we're actually going to say at thumbnail is a magic string, and we're going to say dot small. When we preview that, there we go. We start to see these little images show up for all the different types of file types that are supported here. So that's pretty sweet. You know, so as you might guess, small can be replaced with things like medium. Give you that guy. There we go, a little bigger. We'll even go large, if you can believe it. Large. There we go. So we start to get these nice, rich preview images. There's 300 and how many is it? Like 400 and some odd, 370 plus file types are supported across uh, Microsoft 365, including Windows 10 and all that. So all those are supported here. So you can even say your own custom kind of bounding boxes. So if I want to say, you know, 200, you know, preview that, preview but might be actually pretty similar. But you just put these in here, put my own sizes in here, 200 by 600, just a bounding box. Start to see that show up. These get huge. I'm going to take away those for now, and we're going to paste it a couple of styles. So I'm just going to grab, grab a format uh, from over here. So we happen to have a sample for you on our SP Dev list formatting repo. And grab that. It's going to copy and paste this guy. The only thing this is doing a little different is, since it's being formatted, excellent. All right, it's, it's using a slightly higher style, but it's sitting at a max height here. It allows it to be a, a higher quality image, but not overflow our, our, our boundaries here. So that's really cool. Now, one of the things you need to know, however, is that with thumbnails, it's doing some magic stuff. You'll notice there's nothing here for folders. So this happens to be a magic string that when applied to an image, there's some really neat stuff where it says, hey, I don't have a thumbnail for a folder, so I won't show that image at all. Now, that only works as long as you're not messing around with this element in other ways. Or if I try and add, say, a tooltip, I hit preview on that, it's going to break down that. So now suddenly I get all this in the folders, that's no great, I don't want to do that. So I can start to wrap this up on a higher level. If I come up here and I say, you know, my Elm type is going to be a div, and then I'm going to say attributes. So in that tool up here, right, so now my title is hey. Fill this down, we'll go children, and then we'll just grab all this. Just follow all that, great. There we go. So now when we do that, now we get our nice tooltip. It doesn't break our cool image formatting with the thumbnail. Now we do have still a nay showing up here. And that's not great, so let's show you one more quick tip here. And that's if I set, set this down to content type. Now you'll notice here, I get nothing. I got no content type. So if I save this and I go to my library settings, go to advanced settings, and I'm going to say allow manager content types. I'm not going to swap anything out. I just want to say yes to allowing that. Hit OK. Go back to my documents library. 
And as these loads, now you'll start to see, now I see folder, you know, my documents. Now I actually have access to that content type. So here to column settings and format this column. I come here to where I'm saying that title is content type. And instead I could say equals if content type. I'll say equals equals folder. Do anything. Otherwise, nay! There you go. Preview that. Now we get our nice tooltip, and we're not applying it up there to the folders. So that works really well. You'll see that even as you navigate through this stuff, right, you come down here, you can see all the different file types, right? So we've got an AutoCAD image showing up here. Everything just kind of works, which is awesome. So use these thumbnails. You can use these both in view formatting and column formatting. If we come over here, we can see this, those different bounding boxes. Your aspect ratio is going to be maintained. You can use the style to force the size like I did. This is SharePoint online only, document libraries only. So this is going to work for your like list item attachments or, or anything along those lines. And it's auto hidden when unavailable. So check all that out. And, uh, go here if you want to see the uh, full documentation. If you want to check out that sample, you go ahead and paste that. So that's in our column samples file thumbnail. And that's it for me. Woo! Awesome. Great stuff, great stuff, super valuable uh, stuff. Um, we have to ask, by the way, because that was asked, uh, was it, I can't remember which, who actually said that. So, so Chris, do you see the world through column formatting JSON? Like, like... That's, that's all I see. It's yeah. a matrix for me, except <laughs> exactly. it's all JSON. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Paulo says everything through XSLT and then, no, never mind. <laughs> okay, um, thank you, Chris, for that one. Really crystal cool stuff. <laughs>